This isn't the video I ever hoped to make, nor the one I want people to need to watch. But with the recent passing of my cocktail Snucky, and the uncertainty that it was my pet's ashes that I'd be receiving, I decided to create this video. But before starting this, I find it important to stress fire safety here, and checking with your local ordinances before undertaking this. Now for the materials list. You'll need a fire extinguisher, a hose, one bag of charcoal briquettes, a flower pot, and two flower pot bottoms, one bottle of stump remover, some concrete bricks, or if you have any other bricks lying around, those will do just fine. You'll also need a bottle of lighter fluid, a match, a shovel, and a leaf blower, which can be very helpful for getting air into the fire. Some of the electric ones can be quite affordable. The only other item you might want is a pair of scissors for saving some feathers, but that's up to you. Now that we got everything, time to begin. You want to find a clearing with no grass or brush, just mostly dirt. This might take a little yard work to get correct. Once that's done, dig a hole 12 inches down and 18 inches wide, and then at the bottom of that hole push three rocks into the ground like a triangle. Your flower pot bottom will go here. Then fill the bottom with charcoal to just below the points of the rocks. Remember, you want the rocks supporting the flower pot bottom, not the charcoal. Distribute a fourth of the stump remover powder onto the charcoal, then arrange the bricks similar to what I have done in the picture, but only halfway. Then place the flower pot with your animal onto the flower pot bottom, and place the second one on top of that. There is no need to put anything else in with them. Any accelerants inside could cause the pot to break. Then put the remaining charcoal around and on top of the ceramic and mix in the rest of the stump remover and lighter fluid evenly with the rest of the charcoal. You can now finish stacking the blocks, but leave the top block off to the side for now. The only thing left to do is light the fire, but before you do, this is a good time to say a prayer or just say goodbye, whatever you feel like you should do. After lighting, you want to blow air into the fire on and off again for the next 30 minutes to an hour and let the fire burn for approximately 4 hours. This is the only number that I'm not 100% sure of since mine had to burn much longer due to a downpour that day. Still, even with the puddle surrounding the bricks, this still managed to work. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching. Nothing but my sincerest condolences to you. I know how difficult this can be.